of the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the tube. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts and the spring locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks as moisture may loosen them.
Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. Yeah. <laughs>
Granted. It seems that you have accidentally wandered into a restricted area. Due to the sensitive nature of the materials that you may be exposed to here, you will not be allowed to leave until the cleanup crew arrives at 6 a.m. So hang tight. Rest assured that you will be promptly rescued, fired, then sent home. Thank you for being an employee. We hope that your experience has not been as regrettable as ours. where you said it would be. They were all there. They didn't recognize me at first, but then they thought I was you. <laughs> and I found her. I put her back together, just like you asked me to. She's free now, but something is wrong with me. I should be dead. But I'm not. I've been living in shadows. There is only one thing left for me to do now. I'm going to come find you. I'm going to come find you. You won't die. 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 You won't die.
Now I will tell you a story. A story about a kind man who would visit five orphans and bring them toys and gladness. The man lived alone, and lived in fear that someone might break into the house of one of the five children, so he adopted all five, and brought them together in one place, in his own home. He promised them to never leave them, and they promised to always come home, and never stay out too late. He left one day to buy food, his heart being filled with gladness, but returned to find that the burglar had chosen his home, and killed all five of the children. The man could only afford one coffin, so he stitched the five bodies together to make one, and buried the child. That night, there was a knock at the door. <laughs> now I will tell you a story about a young woman who was sealed in a small room. In the room was a furnace, and five keys. She was told that each of the five keys would unlock one of five doors outside her room. Inside each room was a child that she could take with her as she fled the building. But she was only allowed to leave her own room with one key, not all five. Desperate to find a way to save all five children, the woman melted the five keys together in the furnace to create a single key, hoping it would unlock all five doors. Of course, it did not work that way. Now her key opened none of the doors. Rather than leaving her room with a key to one life, she had taken with her the key to five deaths. Now I will tell you a story about a little boy. He had a red snake that he kept in a metal cage, whose hunger could not be satisfied. One day, the boy found five baby kittens outside his house. He brought them inside and kept them in a shoe box. He knew that the snake might kill them, but could not bring himself to get rid of the snake. He knew that if he chose one kitten to feed to the snake, it might be satisfied, but he could not choose. So, he went to bed, leaving the cage open. The snake went to the shoebox, chose a kitten at random, and ate it. After five nights had gone by, the boy was full of regret, and cut snake open. He pieced the remains together, and put the kitten back into the shoebox. <laughs> Tell anyone about this and I cut your sword. But before you go, take this certificate of bankruptcy. Now do everyone a favor and get lost. It's only now that I understand the depth of the depravity of this creature, this monster, that I unwillingly helped to create. As if what he had already done wasn't enough. He found a new way to desecrate, to humiliate, to destroy. As if the suffering wasn't enough, the loss of innocence, the loss of everything to so many people. Small souls trapped in prisons of my making, now set to new purpose, and used in ways I never thought imaginable. He lured them all back, back to a familiar place, back with familiar tricks. He brought them all together. Are they still aware? I hope not. It keeps me awake at night. I could make myself sleep, but not yet. Not until I undo what he has done and heal this wound. A wound first inflicted on me, but then one that I let bleed out to cause all of this. He set some kind of trap. I don't know what it was, but he led them there, again. He overpowered them, 
again. And he robbed them of the only thing that they had, again. I don't know how those tiny breaths of life came to inhabit those machines, but they will never find rest now, not like this. I have to call them all back, all of them, together in one place. Congratulations on completing the week. Unfortunately, you did not meet your special obligations under paragraph four. Your employment is terminated. We'll mail you your things. End tape.
Imagine how terrible it would be. to release us but I'm not gonna let that happen I will hold you here I will keep you here no matter how many times they burn us 